Yeah, I mean, a fraction of the crowd that came, obviously, the weather definitely played a role. So that means a fraction of the traffic going home. So as soon as that grand finale hit, and there were many times when I thought the grand finale was the grand finale and I was wrong, the show just kept going on and on. Uh, yeah, those people headed for the exits. I had a chance to catch up with a couple of them who had nothing but glowing things to say about it. Not only the, the actual fireworks themselves, but uh, also the way this was put on, the access that they had, the uh, ease which they could move around in downtown, especially once they got inside Hart Plaza and all the food vendors and everything that they could take part in. Again, uh, it was a late arriving crowd. Everybody got here, say, around 8.30 or so once those final showers moved in, and then uh, they had pretty much free range to how close they wanted to get, uh, and it was a wide scale in terms of if you were far back, you saw a different show than if they were up close, but when that finale hit, you could really feel it in your chest. Uh, it was quite a show. It, I talked to somebody with the parade company who I've been keeping tabs with all night. They said it went off exactly how it was planned. Everything went according to plan, and they were very happy, and they hope to do it all again next year. And uh, so far, so good in terms of uh, any incidents that have been, no none that have been reported, at least to us. Reporting live in Hart Plaza, Dave Spencer, Fox 2 News. Everybody deserved to have a good time, and it seems like, uh, yeah, the crowds were a little bit thinner, but for those who showed up, these are hardcore yeah. fireworks fans. <laughs> yeah, some of them, the, the family that I caught up with, uh, they got here around 3.30, so they braved wave after wave of that rain. They're like, we loved it, we made some memories, we want to come back with no rain next year. Yeah, yeah we're not going to melt, we're not made of sugar, right? So you just got to have a good time, and that's what they did. <laughs> that's right. All right, Dave Spencer for us live, thank you. Fox News' Dave Kinchin keeping our live team coverage going. Now from Belle Isle, and Dave, I mentioned this to you earlier, uh, I think Belle Isle is one of the most like family-friendly spots because there's all that barbecuing and all that fun going on hours beforehand. Yeah. Yeah, no doubt. Really, that was uh, part of the uh, pre-party. Right now, it's uh, you might want to call it an after-party, but I'll step out of the way. It's people just getting out of the way and getting everything out of here. All of the tents being broken down. Whatever leftovers were barbecued being stored for some uh, later eating. Leftovers are always good. And, uh, of course, people making their way off the island here. Let's go to some video of the fireworks earlier. And I got to tell you, some of the folks that we talked to say that uh, they thought they'd have a little bit better view of it because of the heavy cloudiness and conditions that kind of uh, muted the impact of it a little bit. That's what some folks were telling us. Uh, they still had a great time, but uh, some people were saying, you know, maybe we should have gone to Hart Plaza uh, as they kind of reassessed their plans overall, but still a great time as family members and friends came out here. Um, state police keeping everybody safe. No uh, major reported issues that we've heard as uh, people are making their way out of here. Some people may be hanging around a little bit because uh, undoubtedly there's going to be a lot of uh, traffic backup as people make their way across the bridge and out of downtown. So kind of like leaving a big concert, really. And, uh, of course, the star of the show, the fireworks. But uh, still a great time had by many people down here. Uh, it did not have to be rescheduled, postponed, canceled. I mean, it was great that they were able to get this annual tradition back in the skies tonight so everybody could enjoy it. I know it'll probably be a little easier leaving Belle Isle tonight with uh, maybe not as many crowds as we've seen in the past, but people will enjoy that. Yeah, definitely. You know, and I, everyone's you know, really happy they came out and, you know, really happy that it did go off on time. I mean, the weather, it was pretty wild with the wind and rain. Our, our live shot from, I think it was 630 or so. It, it was like a monsoon out right. here. And, and then it quickly changed and the skies cleared. So, uh, you know, people uh, did have a really great time. And, the, you know, it's a tradition. People come down year after year and they love it. And uh, they wouldn't have it any other way. Right. And uh, we'll wrap that up with you right now. We'll check back with you tonight on the edge to see how things are going. Thanks, Dave.